Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss an important comparison. AMD Radeon Super Resolution, or RSR, versus integer scaling, both paired with AFMF2. These technologies play a critical role in performance and visual quality, especially on devices like the Lenovo Legion Go. I'll be breaking down the key differences between using RSR and integer scaling with AFMF2, and most importantly, giving you my recommendation on which one you should choose based on your gaming needs. We'll go over their impact on performance, image sharpness, and overall gameplay experience. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which method to use to get the best results for your games. Let's get started. It's important to note that AMD RSR is essentially the same technology as AMD FSR. The key difference is that RSR is built into the adrenaline driver, while FSR is built directly into the game. This means that you shouldn't have both RSR and FSR enabled at the same time, as it will actually hurt your performance rather than improve it. So if RSR is on, FSR should be off, and if RSR is off, FSR can be on. On the other hand, when using integer scaling with AMD RIS, you can still enable FSR in the game to boost your FPS. This is a huge advantage over RSR, as it allows for smoother gameplay while still enhancing the visual quality. The combination of integer scaling, RIS, and in-game FSR offers more flexibility and better results than relying on RSR alone. I'll get straight to the point. After using RSR for a long time, I've noticed that the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. In fact, most of us aren't using RSR the way it's intended. Scaling from 800p to 1600p only gives us about 50% of the result we're looking for. To really maximize the potential of RSR, you'd need to set the game resolution to 1200p and let it scale to 1600p. This approach will make the game look almost as good as native 1600p. However, the Lenovo Legion Go simply isn't powerful enough to run most games at 1200p, and even if it could, scaling up to 1600p wouldn't be necessary, since 1200p looks great on this 8.8-inch screen already. When I used RSR to scale from 800p to 1600p, I encountered glitches in certain games, and very few games actually benefit from that setup. Additionally, you'll lose some base FPS compared to using integer scaling combined with Radeon Image Sharpening, RIS, which has little to no impact on performance. Another major issue with RSR is compatibility. In most games, it shows an orange inactive status, while with integer scaling and AMD RIS, it's much easier to enable right on the first try. You may have noticed that I've rarely used RSR lately, and this is the main reason why. Sometimes, I just want to power up my device and jump straight into a game. But with RSR, I often have to spend extra time figuring out how to make it work. Even after getting it to show as active, the next day it might revert to inactive, which is a frustrating experience for us gamers. In fact, RSR can sometimes be even more difficult to activate than AFMF2, and that really takes away from the simplicity and enjoyment of gaming. It's just not a comfortable or consistent option when compared to the reliability of integer scaling and RIS. To conclude, I highly recommend using integer scaling plus AMD RIS over AMD RSR for a more user-friendly and comfortable gaming experience. It will save you a lot of time and frustration spent trying to make RSR active. When playing at 800p, setting integer scaling and AMD RIS sharpening to around 80% ensures that the game doesn't look blurry and appears sharp enough to enjoy on this 8.8-inch screen. If you want even better visual quality, you can set the resolution to 1000p and use AMD RIS alone. This will significantly enhance the game's visuals. Lastly, the correct way to use integer scaling is simple. Set your display resolution to 800p and your in-game resolution to 800p as well. You don't need to set your Windows display resolution to 1600p, because doing so will cause you to lose 20-30% to of your performance. Even if you set the in-game resolution to 800p, the system will still try to render at 1600p, leading to unnecessary performance loss. So, stick with 800p for both settings to get the best results. This is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below on the next topic you'd like me to cover.